A purple heart is now back where it belongs. It ended up in a yard sale, and today the family of the soldier who earned it came to D.C. to get it back. And Suzanne Kennedy tells us about the journey this medal has been on. Army Lieutenant Henry Schenck was killed in action in 1952 as he tried to save his fellow soldiers during an ambush in Korea. In his patrol was James McKeachin, who credits Schenck for saving his life. No one can, can, can even imagine what it is to, to be with, serve with someone like that who so selflessly gave their life. McKeachin has been searching for Schenck's family for decades, hoping to tell them of the lieutenant's brave actions. He was connected with them after Kimberly Poller recently discovered the lieutenant's lost purple heart in a box of books she bought at a yard sale in North Carolina. Eventually when we took it out and found the name on the back, then it was, you know, a hunt. You got to find out, got to get it back to wherever it belongs or whoever it belongs to. She searched the internet, learned of McEachin, and contacted him on the West Coast. God just blessed me that uh, Kimberly found that medal and, and had the presence or the, the wherewithal to call my assistant and for her to call me and to tell me that she found Lieutenant Shanks medal. Today at the Korean War Memorial, the medal was returned to the lieutenant's family. It got away from us by accident and through an amazing set of circumstances has made its way back and today we celebrate that. Uh, these medals meant the world to them. Uh, it was the last tangible item that they had ever received of their loved one after the fact, uh, you know, after they lost their lives. It took nearly three months to track down the Shank family. That's a long time, according to Purple Hearts Reunited. The group has returned 50 Purple Hearts over the last four years. At the Korean War Memorial, Suzanne Kennedy, ABC 7 News.